basic ones using the Nest configuration. Um, there are some steps on like Apple or Memory. So order by direction, you can do the tablet name, um, recent, a place where you can select, uh, then on the page type that. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the results. More important, uh, the class type. Uh, so you want to limit uh, the, that uh, due to class transformation. Okay, so save so and close that. These things. Um, so you'll be doing exercise 7.3 into this uh, list. Uh, the transformation will be able to display uh, that way. Because in our case, we are decoding the uh, the tablet be quite simple. Um, and then after that, we're going to talk about the rest of the app. And then we'll go to the solutions and then wrap up for the next thing. <sighs> Oh, I love training. So I'm in training this week, and it reminded me that when I was in Microsoft training back in, gosh, this would have been like 2003, maybe 2004, I started a blog while I was in Microsoft training. I had spent most of the breaks during the Microsoft training reading a blog called cockeyed.com, which still exists, although it doesn't get a lot of action, but you should go check it out. And I got to thinking, you know, I could do that, and that would be a good creative outlet for me. So yes, I have a blog. It's called Surely You're Not Serious, and there's a lot of good stuff on there, years and years of content, movie reviews, rants and raves, and all kinds of things. Sadly, my blog doesn't get any action anymore. I've shifted all my focus to YouTube, although I did post something today that I'm going to talk about. Tammy's home, so time out. So where was I? Blog, yes. Today I made my first blog post in ages and it had to do with a certain company that provides my internet access. So I got a letter today announcing a great new feature. Now enjoy Wi-Fi access when visiting other internet customers all around town. Wi-Fi hotspots at other customers' homes. What, does that mean my home is a Wi-Fi hotspot? Allow guests to connect to the internet without sharing your password, which sounds good. There will be no impact on the broadband connection of your home and minimal impact on your home network. Minimal? What this says is, they have added a Wi-Fi channel to my network that is unsecured. Essentially what Comcast has done is unlocked the internet access in every home that uses their service. Now that might sound cool on the surface, but let's think about it for a minute. Let's say some hacker plans to do some naughty business on the internet and all he needs is a free Wi-Fi connection. And even better if he can use someone else's IP address so when the bad behavior gets tracked back, it tracks back to somebody else. All he has to do is turn on the Wi-Fi search on his phone and cruise down the street until he finds a Comcast customer. Then he parks in front of your house, does all of his naughty internet behavior on your IP address using your bandwidth, and then drives away. Does this still sound like a good idea? And here's the kicker. The instant I read this letter, I got out my phone and checked my Wi-Fi and it was already unlocked. How long had I been offering free internet access to the neighborhood? I have no idea. Thankfully, there is a way to turn this off, but it is buried down in your account options. I had to use my browser's search function to find the option on the page to turn this off. So score one more for Comcast. Man, I wish AT&T U-verse would move to Colorado. I'll see you tomorrow.